What's going on, Ground Roots Outdoors? That's right, it's Aaron Morstead, and thank you for joining me here again. And yeah, it's been a while. And a lot of you guys don't know, but you've probably noticed in some of the videos me having a black eye and having cuts and stuff. Well, I got into back at the end of deer season, back January 15th was the last day of deer season. January 17th, I joined Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And so that's where all the markings, and I was supposed to be competing this weekend, but my guy backed out. It happens, sucks, but that's okay. Now, why I'm here talking to you is because uh, that's right, the Ripper 425. We're bringing it back out for just a few minutes. We're going to test it here after a bit, see how it does, because I made a modification on it. Of course, you guys know I put a new scope on it last season, worked great. Last last hunt, last day of the hunting season, I got a deer, shot good, blew clean through, didn't find the bolt because the bolt kept traveling. That could be a problem. Anyway, so what changes did I make? The AR buttstock. Okay, the AR buttstock, I don't like how that curves down. And I noticed that with a, especially with a big puffy jacket, because what would happen is I would set it in there and I'd go to get set and it would do this. It'd move up because of that slope on there. Even with a shooting, with a shooting stick, it's still, when I set that thing in there with that big puffy jacket, it rose up on me. And so, yeah, didn't like that. And that was the one thing that I wanted to change on this thing. So I did. And it's actually really easy to do. Move the camera a little bit. But it's really actually easy to do, especially for Killer Instinct. Because all it is, is this little pin right here on both sides. You pull a down on it. And that opens a, a little lever in there. But anyway, you pull down on that. And it just slides right off not that hard okay some of them are pretty cool because some of them you take this little the little deal that you push down to move it back and forth you just take it and reverse it you push pull it out this way instead of pinching it like this pull it out thing pops right off no big deal killer instinct they have it here okay what did i put on there well that's interesting let me show you It's called a Magpul. That's right. And look at how that thing is not, it actually has a concave right here. So these two are a little bit further out and this one goes, and it goes in. It's supposed to fit the shoulder perfectly. I'm not left-handed by the way. So that's why I look weird. Shut up. I look weird anyway, I probably do. Anyway, so it just fits and it doesn't move. That's the nice thing about it. Magpul's been around a long time when, with ARs and, and stocks and all that stuff. So, next time you see me, we're going to see how this thing shoots with that Magpul buttstock. Should it change anything? Yeah. Your ain't, your, believe it or not, your anchor, you have anchors with guns, you have anchors with crossbows too. You got to make sure it sits perfect where you like it. And you got to get comfortable with it. Because uh, I got news for y'all. I'm going to spend a lot of time with that thing this year. And uh, I like my bow. I'm going to still hunt with the bow. But I really want to spend some time on the crossbow. And there's some reasons behind it. And I've got a lot of a lot of issues with my neck and my back. And believe it or not, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has actually helped to loosen that up. But 
my doctor is still saying here in the next five or six years you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be losing some things and so because of football and stuff like that I kind of tortured myself instead of being smart so anyway that's another story this story goes on let's shoot it and see what happens all right again like I see it Magpul stock butt stock on the Killer Instinct 425 River. About to shoot the first shot with this thing on my shoulder. Here we go. Well, let's go. Holy crap. Let's do that again real quick. All right, here we go. Shot two. <clears throat> Stay tuned, I'll take right, a while. That was from 20 yards because I haven't shot that thing literally since the last day of the hunting season last year on January 15th. And this thing is still dialed up. You'll have to check it out. Here we go. Alright, so you're about to see because I was aiming just a little bit low on purpose. I think I'm gonna have to replace a bolt. This is good shooting right here, boys and girls. Here we go. Yeah. I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> Obviously, this is the first one right here. And this is the second one. First one stopped the second one. Holy crap. Wow. All right, y'all, what did you think about that one? Killer Instinct 425 Ripper with a Magpul butt stock. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a lot more comfortable. I'm gonna tell you that. I like it. It sits well in my shoulder. And uh, I mean, you can't, can't go wrong with that. When you're comfortable and you know what you're doing, that's a good shoot. Now, if you see this real quick, these are blood sports, okay? Blood sports. Blood sports have red a red knock vein. Knock yeah, knock feather, knock vein. I've had to replace all the veins on these on these ones and two others. And uh, that should go right there to show you that you can do it too. You can replace your own veins. You don't have to take them in. You don't have to throw your, your bolts away. Guys, you can you can hang on. Sorry, gotta fix the fix the camera. There you go. But anyway, um that should go to show you guys that you can do your own stuff and it's actually more affordable for you especially if you don't have a lot of money but you got a lot of time on your hands reflect your own arrows reflect your own bolts take care of your own stuff hopefully you guys like what you see if you like what you see hit your thumbs up if you like what you see and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button a little bell for notifications that way we get all our all, all our videos thanks again y'all we're at 560 subscribers Thank you. Even though I haven't put out a video in a while, you guys are awesome. I'm not done yet with the broadhead test. I'm trying to let a couple of deer hides thaw out so I can use them and trying to let a couple of the shoulder blades, the scapulas, trying to let them, them thaw out a little bit too. Because uh, let's use some real life stuff. Last time I checked ballistics gel, you can't eat it. And if you could, that'd be gross. See you next time.